Hello foxes, welcome back to another boss guide. Today we're going to cover the grotesque guardians. They have one of the coolest pets in my opinion, so let's get it. To access them, you'll need to be assigned a gargoyle's task and have the brittle key, which drops as a 1 in 150 from gargoyles and marble gargoyles. Dusk and Dawn are found on the roof of the Slayer Tower. Now I'm slightly over leveled for them as it's recommended to have at least 44 prayer, 75 ranged, and everything else over 70. My stats are 82 attack, 88 strength, 81 defense, 84 ranged, 71 prayer, and 88 HP. As for my gear, I brought my Slayer Helm, Fire Cape, Amulet of Fury, and Abyssal Whip, Dragon Defender, Bando's Top and Bottoms, Barrow's Gloves, Primordial Boots, though Dragon Boots would work just fine, and a Berserker's Ring imbued. As for my inventory, I brought a Blowpipe with Adamant Darts. Consider switching that out for a Dragon Crossbow. I also brought two Super Restores, my Rock Hammer. Make sure when you're at your Slayer Master that you have Gargoyle Smasher perk unlocked. And I brought a Ranging Potion, but you could also consider bringing a Combat Potion too. I filled the rest of my inventory with Shark and I have my Oh Shit Teleport. Mechanics. During the fight, Dusk will attack you with melee and be invincible due to his stone wing, while Dawn will attack you with ranged or melee. She will throw out a stone ball that will explode over a 3x3 tile as well. If you're struck with it, you will be encased in stone, stunning you for 5 seconds. Once you get Dawn down enough, she will fly into the air and you must switch to Dusk. He will immediately be charging an attack that will prompt him to trample you if you're standing under him, stunning and throwing you backwards doing 30-40 to 40 damage. While attacking Dusk, rocks will be falling from the ceiling, avoid them as they will stun you. When you get Dusk down enough, Dawn will fly down and there will be lightning attacks. They tick over 3x3 tiles. Dawn will now throw out purple orbs that will heal her if they get back to her, so you must absorb these. While fighting Dusk, he will summon a square of fire that will move in on itself that you have to run out of. Boss fight. When you enter, make sure to drink a dose of your ranging potion, turn on protect from range, then click the bell. If it's your first three times, you'll have to watch the animation. Start attacking Dawn. I always tried to stand directly under Dusk to keep him from being able to hit me as much as I could. Once Dawn is down to half health, she will fly up. Switch to your melee gear and switch prayer to protect from melee and run away from Dusk as he will charge up and do a powerful attack. When you see him start glowing orange, you need to run. If you don't, it is okay, it can be eaten through. Once he's at half health, Dawn will fly down and blue and orange lightning will rain down all over the arena. Find a big open area and stand in it if you can. Then throw protect from ranged Dawn, switch to your blowpipe and attack Dawn. Continue to walk under Dusk while doing so. Now Dawn will throw out purple orbs that you need to go absorb. If you don't, she'll heal for quite a lot. Remember to keep avoiding her stones as well. With her down, switch to your melee weapon, turn on protect from melee, and attack Dusk. He now hovers in the air and summons a square of fire on the ground. Click anywhere outside of it and your character will path out automatically. Kill Dusk and you'll have defeated the grotesque guardians. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, like, and turn on notifications so you can get notified when I drop a new video. If you'd like to support me further, consider becoming a channel member where you'll receive perks like personalized tile markers with your name on it in my POH or see behind the scenes footage involving my everyday life. I also do all my own graphics and art, so head over to my store and check out the cool new Prif mouse mat with more scenery mouse mats to come or a dope fox OSRS hoodie.